Hello learners, this is Easy Engineering. Today, we're going to talk about another fun topic in physics. It is all about the types of forces. There are only four fundamental forces in the universe, namely the strong force, weak force, electromagnetic force, and gravitational force. Now let's talk about the first two. The first two forces happen at the atomic level. At a strong force is a very strong but short range force. It holds an atom's nucleus together. And the weak force is weak and short range. It is responsible for radioactive decay and neutrino interactions. On the other hand, the other two forces are forces that we experience every single day. The electromagnetic force and gravitational force. Electromagnetic force is a force involving electricity and magnetism. It has an unlimited range. It can either be attractive or repulsive, and it holds atoms and molecules together and keeps them apart from each other. Other forces are a product of electromagnetic force such as contact forces, friction, and air resistance. How can I say so? Well, you see, electrons on one surface repel electrons on the other surface, which leads to contact force. Friction, on the other hand, is the force that pushes back when things try to slide past each other. Without friction, we couldn't go anywhere. But friction also causes wear and tear on mechanical equipment, so it is not always helpful. Now what about the gravitational force? Gravitational force is the attraction of objects with mass or energy towards each other. It has unlimited range and is very weak but the gravitational force is always attractive. It actually makes the structure of our universe. Now that we know the four fundamental forces, let us talk about the other types of forces present in our universe. These forces are action force, reaction force, tension, compression, and turning force. An action force is force acting in one direction, while a reaction force is the force acting on the other direction. Reaction force is the force that pushes back when another force is applied, or in other words, it is what makes you move because it acts on you. There can never be a single force acting alone. Forces only come in action to reaction pairs. To explain this further, let us suppose you are riding your scooter. Your foot presses backward against the ground and that force that you made acts on the ground, and so you moved. This means that a force must have acted on you too. So why did you move? What force acted on you? Well, you moved because the action force of your foot against the ground created a reaction force of the ground against your foot. Okay, now what about tension and compression? Every material has the ability to hold up to a certain amount of tension and a certain amount of compression. A tension force is one that pulls materials apart, while a compression force is one that squeezes material together. The forces of compression and tension work together to make a bridge, a house, or any infrastructure stronger. For example, concrete is very strong in compression but breaks easily in tension. That is why steel is often placed inside concrete to give it strength and tension. And lastly, we have turning force. If an object is fixed at one point and can rotate around it, at that point is called a pivot. And if a force acts on the object, the object turns around the pivot. The turning force is called a torque. And the effect it produces is called a moment. So did you enjoy our topic for today? I hope you certainly did. See you again next time for more interesting and fun topics. Only here in Easy Engineering, we make engineering topics easy and fun for you.